This facility takes in approximately 750,000 tons of trash a year and converts it to energy. That energy is in the form of electricity, upon which we'll put about 225,000 megawatts on the western New York grid, and also the form of steam, which will pipe to five local manufacturing facilities that'll use their steam in their local processes. And then, which after we combust the material, we will recycle approximately 20, uh, approximately 20,000 tons of metal uh, that'll be recycled into uh, you know metal, and then there'll be an additional thousand tons of non-ferrous metal such as copper, brass, and aluminum, stainless steel. But basically, this is uh, this is the uh, the flame as it's in uh, the furnace. We'll get a close-up look at this. This is the trash that is being introduced into the furnace. This is the trash that goes on in the, the burning that goes on in the furnace. And over here, this is what comes out. This is the ash that comes out of the process. So after everything's been combusted, 10% comes out, and that's what you see. Okay, as the fire burns, we extract all the energy out of it, but what we're left is the flue gas. And we have to be environmentally conscious on how we deal with that. Above me, you'll see all the flue gas come out of the boiler. It goes into a large unit behind me, which is called the scrubber. The spray dry absorber. What we do is we put lime in, and lime reacts with all the acid gases to promote neutral salts in the form of ash. And then it goes into a large bag house, which is effectively a large vacuum cleaner. It screens out any type of particulate. Then it goes past all the continuous emissions monitoring system, which monitors for any types of um, parameters in the stream, and then it goes out the stack. We admit carbon to take care of any mercury, lime to take care of the acid gases, urea to take care of nitrogen oxides, and then the rest goes out the stack. Once we uh, generate all that steam from the heat from the combustion of the refuse, then we direct that steam into two large turbine generators, and the result we should generate electricity. And behind me, you'll see us where we put it right on the Western New York power grid, a sufficient number of amount of energy to power 25,000 homes each year.